Yo, what is up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can classify equilibrium points for systems of differential equations. So I have this table drawn out and we'll revisit this, but there's two big breaks. We have complex and then we have real eigenvalues. And when we have real eigenvalues, if they're both positive, it's an unstable node. So things are going away from it. If we have two negatives, it's a stable node. Uh, stuff's coming towards it. If we have a negative and a positive real eigenvalue, that's a saddle because on one eigenline you have things coming towards it and on the other one you have things going away from it. And then we'll look at complex eigenvalues with a real part and with no real part. If it has no real part, there's pure oscillations and you get these circular slash um, like oval, oval type shapes. And then if it has a real part, it depends on if it's positive or negative. It shows you if it's a stable spiral or an unstable spiral. So let's put this into action. This is homework 12 from our class. We'll take a look at um, finding these eigenvalues and using those to classify the zero zero equilibrium point. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna use the trace determinant eigenvalue equation that says that the eigenvalue is equal to tau plus or minus the square root of tau squared minus four times the determinant all over two. So first thing that I need to do is find what tau is. Tau is the trace. So you add things in diagonal. You get negative five plus one equals negative four. Tau equals negative four. And then we'll do the trace or the determinant, which is negative five times one equals negative five minus negative three times four, negative 12 equals 12 plus negative five. So <laughs> that is equal to seven, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, and then we'll go and plug it into the equation and get lambda equals negative four for our tau plus or minus the square root of tau squared, which is 16 minus four times the determinant, which is seven, all over two. And here we see a negative real value, negative real plus, and then this is four times seven is 28. And this is gonna be a negative under the square root. So it's gonna have an I value. It's gonna be a complex conjugate for our eigenvalues, which means the real part's negative, so it's gonna be a stable. And then we have this oscillatory motion caused by the I, and that causes a spiral. All right, let's go a little bit quicker on this next one. We find the trace, negative one plus three is two. T equals two, or our tau equals two. And then our determinant is negative three, minus 12 equals negative um, 15. So we do it, our formula, tau plus or minus the square root of tau squared minus four times our determinant, negative 15. So what's under here ends up positive. and it's all over two. So we get two over two plus or minus the square root uh, four minus a negative, some plus 60 all over two. So we get one plus or minus the square root of 64, which is eight. over two equals one plus or minus four. So our lambda equals one plus or minus four. This means we have a positive eigenvalue, lambda equals five, and a negative eigenvalue, lambda equals negative three. This results in a saddle. All right, last one here. 
we're going to go and find the trace. 6 plus 2, tau is equal to 8. And then our determinant equals 12 minus negative 2 equals 14. So what we get is 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 4 times 14 all over it's going to be all over 2. So we get 4 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 4 times 14 over 2. 4 times 14 is 56. So we're going to get a positive under the square root. It's 4 plus or minus. 8 over 2. So if we brought this 2 up, it'd be 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 over 4 equals 4 plus or minus square root of 2. And either way, we get two positive values for our lambda. So lambda equals 4 plus root 2, which is pos. And we get lambda equals 4 minus root 2, which is also pause. So we have two real eigenvalues, and both are positive. This means we have an unstable node. I hope this video is helpful for determining um, zero, zero equilibrium of systems of equations and have a good rest of your day.